Hydroboration oxidation is yet another method that can be used to achieve hydration across carbon-carbon double bond without any rearrangement in the reactant. Like oxymercuration demercuration, it is a two-step reaction sequence that converts an alkene to an alcohol. Hydroboration is the addition of borane, BH3, to an alkene, forming an alkylborane. Oxidation converts the CB bond of the alkylborane to a CO bond to form an alcohol. Consider these examples. Whether the alkene is acyclic or cyclic the hydroboration followed by oxidation can be used to achieve hydration across carbon-carbon double bond. The orbital picture shows that borane, BH3, has an empty p orbital similar to that of a carbocation, except that borane is without charge. The boron atom lacks an octet of electrons and is therefore very reactive. In fact, one borane molecule will even react with another borane molecule to form a dimeric structure called diborane. This dimer is believed to possess a special type of bonding that can be more easily understood by drawing the following resonance structures. This is another of those rare cases where we break a single bond when drawing the resonance structures. Careful examination of these resonance structures shows that each of the hydrogen atoms, colored in red and blue, is partially bonded to two boron atoms using a total of two electrons. Such bonds are called three-center, two-electron bonds. Thus borane, BH3, is a reactive gas that exists mostly as the dimer, diborane, B2H6. Borane is a strong Lewis acid that reacts readily with Lewis bases. For ease in handling in the laboratory, it is commonly used as a complex with tetrahydrofuran THF. Although the boron atom does receive some electron density from the solvent, it is nevertheless still very electrophilic and subject to attack by the pi bond of an alkene. The proposed mechanism involves a concerted addition of H and BH2 from the same side of the planar double bond. The pi bond and BH bond is broken as two new sigma bonds are formed. Because four atoms are involved, the transition state is said to be four-centered. If we show pi electrons as red and electrons in BH bond as blue, we can see that pi electrons are used to form sigma bond with boron, while blue electrons of BH bond are used to form CH bond. Thus an alkylborane is formed via syn addition. Having said that, the alkylborane formed, by reaction with one equivalent of alkene, still has two BH bonds, therefore, logically it can again react with two more molecules of alkene in successive steps to form, first dialkylborane, and then trialkylborane. Because only one BH bond is needed for hydroboration, Commercially available dialkylboranes, having the general structure R2BH, are sometimes used instead of BH3. A common example is 9 bora bicyclo 331 no name, 9BBN. 9BBN undergoes hydroboration in the same manner as BH3. Hydroboration, like hydrohalogenation, is regioselective. That means, with unsymmetrical alkenes, the boron atom bonds to the less substituted carbon atom and hydrogen to more substituted carbon. Since BH2 is replaced with OH by oxidation, therefore in the end, addition of H and OH is achieved in an anti-Markovnikov's orientation. This regioselectivity is supported both by electronic as well as steric factors. Let us understand the mechanism and effect of both factors. In the first step of the proposed mechanism, attack of the pi bond triggers a simultaneous hydride shift. 
As the pi bond attacks the empty p orbital of boron, one of the vinylic carbons begin to develop a partial positive charge, delta plus. This developing delta plus then triggers a hydride shift. In this way, one of the vinylic carbon atoms develops a partial positive charge when the alkene begins to interact with borane. Thus, if boron interacts with less substituted carbon atom, the partial positive charge will be developed on more substituted end. Alternatively, if boron interacts with more substituted carbon, the delta plus will be developed on less substituted end. For reasons of carbocation stability, there will be a preference for any positive character to develop at the more substituted end. In order to accomplish this, the BH2 group must be positioned at the less substituted carbon atom. So that CH3 groups stabilize the positive charge on more substituted carbon atom. Now let us check the steric factors. In the first step of the proposed mechanism, both H and BH2 are adding across the double bond simultaneously. Since BH2 is bigger than H, the transition state will be less crowded and lower in energy if the BH2 group is positioned at the less sterically hindered position, that is, at the less substituted end. Therefore this transition state is more stable, and this one is less stable. Thus both electronic and steric factors favor the addition of BH2 at less substituted carbon and contribute to the observed regioselectivity for hydroboration oxidation. Notice that, this addition though produces product with anti-Markovnikov's orientation, the addition however, still goes via our extended Markovnikov statement. That is, electron-deficient boron on less substituted carbon to develop partial charge on more substituted carbon. Again I am repeating here, there is no anti-Markovnikov's rule, only anti-Markovnikov's orientation. The alkylboranes are not isolated because they react rapidly with water and spontaneously burn when exposed to the air. Therefore they are oxidized with basic hydrogen peroxide. Oxidation replaces the CB bond with a CO bond, forming a new OH group with retention of configuration, that is, the OH group replaces the BH2 group in the same position relative to the other three groups on carbon. Overall H and OH are added in syn fashion and as per anti-Markovnikov's orientation. Let us check our understanding by writing the products for these hydroboration oxidation reactions. The first step is the syn addition of BH3 to alkene, with BH2 on less substituted and hydrogen on more substituted end. Second step is the oxidation that replaces BH2 with OH group. In the same way we can write the product of this second reaction, BH2 on less substituted and H on more substituted end, followed by oxidation to replace BH2 with OH. Same can be done in this case also, to get hydration across alkene double bond with anti-Markovnikov's orientation.